kind of unbelievable. Other 10 year olds selling bread? I've never seen anybody else selling bread with this kid. Hey, we got some good sourdough here. Thank you very much. Can't wait to try it. All right, happy one. You as well. My wife pointed it out that there's a kid on the corner selling sourdough bread. Most of the time when you walk by, you know, these stands in the area, you'll see lemonade stands. And so your automatic assumption is like, oh, lemonade, okay, you know, and you stop off and maybe get a cup and just move on. But the uniqueness of what Brady was giving was like pretty awesome. I don't even know another 10 year old selling bread in the area. They all come up to me like the next day at school and they're like, your brother's the bread boy. Hey, we got some fresh baked sourdough. He's just a good, honest, hard worker. Thanks, Brady. All right, thanks, Brady. So keep doing what you're doing, Brady. Got my bread. So this is my old uh, sister's lemonade stand. Uh, they used to use it. Um, it's 18 years old, so as you can imagine, it, it's been uh, cracks and uh, duct tape and all that. You can see this is kind of broken here. But um, yeah, I still use it. It's still in uh, decent shape for me to use. So that's what I've been using for all this time. Yeah. Got some fresh baked bread, ready to sell. Hi, my name is Brady, but some people call me Brady the Bread Boy. <laughs> do you think this one? You want to work that one or do you want that one? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. All right, bye. Have Thank you. Have a good one. Hi. How much are these things? Eight dollars. So, I've seen this kid for a while now and I stopped a couple times before to buy bread from him but the very first time I stopped was after I saw him like four or five times. Do you change? Uh, yes I do. Nice. Well, like, this is actually really cool and it's got the old school like peanuts little pop-up stand and um, bought bread from him. It was amazing and then I started looking for him and I was just picking my daughter up from school and that happened to be the route we were taking. It was in a totally different spot mm -hmm. and as soon as I saw him made a u-turn, flipped around and picked up some bread from him. Right, give me two of these bad boys. Are you sure? Yeah. I never did a lemonade stand, but I was one of those kids that would like get my parents to buy me like the king size bars at Costco kind of thing and then like just leave them on the corner of my desk, make a you know a couple extra bucks kind of thing, but nothing like what this kid's doing. Nothing like that. Best sourdough bread ever. Really? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Yeah. Flour, lots of flour. Flower. So Brady's actually the youngest of six. We named him Brady in part because we have three boys and three girls, so he made us the Brady Bunch. Whoa, so satisfying. There's 13 year age difference between his oldest sister and him. So this is... He's watched them have jobs and save money and struggle to save money to have a car. Yeah, so we don't want to use all of it because if we use all of it, then we won't have any for like the next day. So you have to use the same dough and then you feed it flour. They kind of set the example for him to want to earn money and go out and prepare for what was coming, which was paying for half of his car. I actually bought a car with my sister. It's parked over there. The way it works in our family is whatever we save, our parents match. I babysat and saved my birthday money and Christmas money for years. Yeah, this is so hard. Okay, now this is what we do is we cut them and then we want everyone to be about 1,200 grams. The idea of selling bread uh, came from uh, my mom used to make it during COVID. During COVID, I started making sourdough bread just for fun and was giving it away to friends and family and some neighbors and coaches and teachers and he just thought, he just had this light bulb moment. Okay. There you go. So let's roll it out a little. One day I asked her if I could get a few loaves to sell um, in front of our house. 
He was like, I can sell that, mom. Like, make me some, I can sell it. He's like, I'll put it in the wagon, I'll go door to door. It took a few months of begging, almost the whole summer. My mom was uh, like denying it for months, like, oh no, that's not gonna work. Who's gonna buy sourdough from a kid? Okay, sure, I'll make you bread. It was kind of like, just to get him off my back, like, I'll make him bread, it won't sell and then we can just move on with our lives. Finally, after like a month of begging. Two months, the two entire months. summer he begged. Mm -hmm. But eventually she made me uh, six loaves. He was crazy. I said, it's during COVID. Nobody's gonna buy bread from a 10 year old boy door to door during COVID. And I sold out in an hour and a half with no advertising. No one knew who I was or what I was selling. Our neighbor was telling us that people were posting like, hey, there's a kid that sells sourdough. Does anybody know when he's gonna sell again? And asking questions. All he just kept saying for the next 24 hours was, mom, I told you, I told you. See, I told you. It's like, I have a bread business, I told you. Hey mom, do you know how much flour we go through a week? Cause it looks like we've been using a lot recently. Yeah, well we go through at least one 50 pound bag a week, sometimes more. Wow, that's amazing. It's <laughs> a lot of flour. <laughs> The place I've gotten the strongest reactions are when I'm at Costco buying flour. It's the only thing on my cart. People say, oh, you, you own a restaurant? What are you doing with that bread? I'm like, no, it's for my 10 year old. He's making bread. And they're like, really? A 10 year old's making bread? It's usually shock. Most 10 year olds don't have it together enough to, to go out there and have the persistence to stay out there when it's hot or when, you're, when your uh, goods cool. aren't selling right When away. it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> Now, fold it and then roll it super tight. You wanna roll it tight. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you spin this one. Here, gently spin that one. Okay, that's good, that's good. Here, put it in that basket right there. Oh, this isn't pretty. <laughs> Our school supervisors bought uh, bread from us. Um, that was really sweet because- They saw it at the school they fair. They saw it at the school fair and they're like, oh, I know you sell bread, where can I get it? In fact, your PE teacher- Yeah, my PE teacher- Well, he bought some last summer and then when he had him for PE this year, what did he call you? Sourdough. Sourdough boy. <laughs> And he, he called me the sourdough boy. He's like, hey, sourdough boy. He still does. Yeah. He still calls you sourdough boy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he loves your bread though. He comes and buys it. Yeah, all the time. Ooh. Now she's putting the bread in. Oh, it's a sticky one. Yeah, it, sometimes it gets a little sticky, especially in the summer. Now, this is the scoring part. I started getting a little fancy lately. Yeah, she does some designs, little cuts, and then it makes little uh, patterns in it. And then, this is the tricky part. And so we gotta get in the oven without burning ourselves, which sometimes happens and sometimes doesn't. All right, success. Still scorching hot. And we did it without burning ourselves. Success. Honestly, the hardest part of selling bread is being patient. Yesterday, I had a really big dry spot. I didn't. I sold all my loaves, and then I had two left, and it took like 30 minutes to sell those. Thank you, lady. Bye. I just think I'm pretty determined to sell all the bread that I have for that day. I think one day I said to him and his mom, I was like, well, when he gets older, you know, there's a job opportunity coming. I, uh, I like to reorganize them to make them look pretty. When uh, I sell a few. Sometimes my friends say like, oh, I saw you outside the other day, uh, or sometimes occasionally they buy. I get one loaf too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they kind of know for a while, but if they see me outside, they'll be like, hey, I saw you yesterday. You can figure out any loaf. So the other kids in our neighborhood, I'll get you changed. almost all of them are very encouraging. A lot of them are his customers. They come buy bread and then they'll use the bread and bring it to school the next day and the sandwich and like tell everybody, hey, this is Brady's bread with my sandwich. And it makes other kids like, want to go have some of Brady's bread. Thanks, Brady. Bye, Peter. Bye, thanks, Brady. Yeah. All right, there you go. Thank you so much. Have Bye. A, have a good one. There's something you can do that I've been seeing going around. You can take turn sourdough or like bread into croutons. And someone tried it with our bread and it we tried it as well. And it was super good. He's like an entrepreneur at heart and he just kind of like, all right, yeah, you want to buy more from him. Selling bread offers life lessons too. Uh, the interactions with people, how to overcome challenges, how to answer informational questions. Uh, 
also more practical stuff around how to keep your books. You know, he, he documents his revenue and his costs. And he has a book where he puts every single day, he does his bread journal with how many loaves he sold, how much cash he got, how much Venmo, and he keeps track of it. He could tell you today exactly how many loaves he's sold to date. I think after four years of uh, elementary school, I've gotten sick of the old uh, Dave's bread. Not meaning to dunk on Dave's bread or anything. Thank you. Dos. Thank you, Brady. You're the best. I feel like their parents are doing a great job in teaching um, to be an entrepreneur and to be a self-driven um, person that makes money. I find it rewarding to uh, like get it. I don't like being given stuff. I like to work for it and know that I earned it. It gets kind of ingrained in him. I think he's either going to be the mayor when he grows up <laughs> or a salesperson. His parents are like seem like they're doing everything right and he's just a good kid so really what advice could I give but keep doing what he's doing he's just a good honest hard worker so keep doing what you're doing Brady I'll snap for today I'm gonna be selling at 5 30 tomorrow see you there is that good He's been begging me to like open him up a storefront where he can sell it. And then this summer, we went and visited um, local a bakery. local bakery that kind of started the same way. They started doing sourdough from their house and then ended up opening a bakery and they totally embraced him and like brought him in and showed him what it takes and showed him kind of what was involved in running a bakery. And since we visited that bakery, he hasn't asked me once to open a bakery for him. So that was nice. <laughs> Some advice that I would give to someone who's starting a new business would be to go out there often because the more often you go out there, the more your name gets recognized and the more uh, like new customers you get and they might spread the word as well. So uh, that's the advice I would give. Like a pro. <laughs> <laughs>